Where are we right now? We're at the Metal Casting Research Lab at Purdue University. We're melting this copper in a clay graphite crucible by using induction heating. We put the copper in there and then within a few minutes it's red hot and starts to melt. The bars are melting off the bottom in the crucible. I pulled a piece of graphite off the top that was keeping the copper from oxidizing and he's pouring that from about a meter or so, a little less, so it's probably has a velocity of maybe two and a half, three meters per second when it hits the, the copper. Basically, I'm uh, pretty scared. Yeah. Obviously, 1,200 degrees hot, melting copper. He was very brave to actually do that. He's right, I believe him that he was a little scared. So. One of the really surprising things for me was that you can see that it still has the red copper color of copper metal in the solid state, even when it's liquid. So that's one of the really, probably the most technically interesting thing for me. That splatting of a small liquid droplet on a surface is one way to achieve really high cooling rates. Of course, we don't get that high a cooling rate here because we've got drop after drop coming in behind it, adding more and more heat. But if you had a really small droplet and it falls onto a conducting surface like that and spreads out very thin, that's one of the, the highest cooling rates that we can achieve in solidifying metals like that. So it's called splat cooling. So now they're turning the lights off. Now the thermal luminescence dominates. I think that's the most spectacular part right when they, when they first hit. The really small ones that are forming by the splashing, the ones that are coming out in all different directions, you can see how most of those are, are much rounder spherical. They're still red hot. I mean, this is just fractions of a second in time that we're looking at, but it takes some time for them to, to cool. So another really cool thing you can see in this is here where it's nice and, and shiny and darker. That's clean metal. The brighter material, that's the copper oxide. So the molten copper in air is highly unstable. I mean, it's oxidizing instantaneously. And uh, actually, when we make copper castings, we have to deoxidize the, the liquid before we pour it. And so that's another really cool thing, as you can see the oxidation happening. But where the liquid surface is, is torn apart and actually is forming, the liquid is actually forming at first, it's clean and it takes some time for the oxygen to get there and oxidize the surface. So there's the stream. So. Yeah, that's my favorite part. <laughs>